Welcome back to TFT Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LCD panel roadmap plans for one of the main panel manufacturers in the market, LG Display. We've published these roadmap updates over the years on our main site as it gives a really interesting indication of what we might expect to see released in the monitor market in the future. A sneak peek as it was at the panel manufacturers, what they're developing and the advancements that they're making. Please keep in mind that we're talking here about LG Display, who are one of the leading panel manufacturers, not LG Electronics or any other monitor manufacturer who are making the actual monitors. LG Display make the panels which various monitor manufacturers might then adopt and release in their monitors later on. So the production dates that we'll talk about in this video are the current expected panel mass production dates, but there's usually around a three to four month lag from when the panels go into production before a monitor is released to market that might use that panel. So keep that in mind if there's something in here that grabs your attention. Also, these dates aren't set in stone, especially those that are a bit further out, but these are the latest dates that we have based on the panel plans so far. We've also got videos available now which look at other panel manufacturers, including AU Optronics, who produce a range of LCD panels. We've also got information on LG Display's WOLED panels and Samsung's QDOLED panels. So do check all of those videos out below in the description if you want to know all the latest panel development news for the OLED segment as well. We have other LCD panel updates coming from other manufacturers as well in the near future, so do hit subscribe to make sure we stay up to date on those soon. LG Display's focus and strategy in the LCD space is focused around their IPS technology and around increasing contrast ratio, improving panel reflection handling, and increasing the color gamma resolution and refresh rate of their panels. For the gaming panel segment, they're also working on dual mode refresh rate options, a bit like what's on their roadmap for their WOLED panels as well. IPS Black is LG Display's latest generation of IPS technology. It was released a couple of years ago, but primarily designed to offer IPS panels with improved contrast ratios. We tested one of the first IPS Black panels back in August 2022, and you can find that video in the description below as well. But those panels at the time delivered decent improvements in contrast ratio for IPS, doubling it in fact from a typical 1000 to 1 spec to instead meet 2000 to 1. That starts to improve a long-standing limitation with IPS panel technology and brings them a bit closer to VA panels for black depth and contrast. Some manufacturers have also added an advanced true wide or ATW polarizer to some of these IPS models. And if that was combined more with these high contrast ratio IPS black panels, it could really help improve dark content viewing angles and reduce IPS glow further as well. So that would be a great combination that we'd love to see more of. The focus in the future from LG Display for their IPS black panels seems to be in improving the contrast ratio further, pushing this up to 3000 to 1 in fact, although it's not clear which of the forthcoming panels will have this increased contrast ratio spec. Most of the monitors we've seen announced so far using their newest IPS black panels still have the 2000 to 1 spec, but it looks like further enhancements are at least on the roadmap longer term. For now, there are some new sizes and panel options planned at least based on this technology. LG Display also say they're trying to improve the ambient contrast ratio of these panels. Towards the end of last year, we conducted a comprehensive study of how ambient lighting can influence the perceived black depth and contrast of different panel technologies, including how panel coating can impact this. LG Display say they are going to double the ambient contrast ratio on their IPS black panels this year, although further details of the changes are pretty limited at the moment. Let's run through the IPS black panels that they have in production already or have planned for 2024. LG Display have been investing in an increase in the resolution and pixel density on some of their professional segment panels, up to 6144 by 3456, or 6K as it's commonly called, with a panel already available and in mass production this 6K resolution is available from a 31.5 inch size panel already, used in fact in one monitor from Dell. This complements a traditional 4K resolution 31.5 inch panel that is already in mass production as well and used in several monitors. These 6K panels remain 60 Hz only by the way. A smaller 27 inch size panel with a 5K resolution of 5120 by 2880 was listed as in planning stage when we bought you our last update in March 2023 and that panel was being explored for possible H1 2024 production. It looked interesting as it was also expected to have a 1560 zone mini LED backlight for impressive HDR capabilities. Although unfortunately this panel no longer appears at all on our more recent roadmap. 
It might have been scrapped or simply pushed back, but there's no news on that one at the moment, sadly. In the ultra-wide IPS Black segment, the 49-inch Super Ultra-Wide panel with a 32 by 9 aspect ratio and a 5120 by 1440 resolution IPS Black panel that we brought you news about in our last update in March 2023 is now in mass production. And that's already been adopted, in fact, in the Dell U4924DW monitor, for example. There was also a 37.5 inch or 38 inch ultra wide panel with a 24 by 10 aspect ratio and a 3840 by 1600 resolution, which seems to be a really popular option still for many viewers. We always get asked about those whenever we talk about forthcoming panel and monitor releases. The good news is that this IPS black panel with a 2300R curvature and 2000 to one contrast ratio is now in panel mass production, although we've not yet seen any monitors announced featuring it. Hopefully Dell or LG Electronics will announce something at some point soon with that. This 37.5 inch and the 49 inch Super Ultra Wide panels are 60 Hz only by the way at this time. And we've not seen any plans for higher refresh rate versions of these IPS black panels yet. Although if these prove popular, we wouldn't be at all surprised to see them in the future. We've already started to see a range of monitors announced and released to market that feature an increased 120 Hz refresh rate IPS black panel a step up from the first generation that were limited to 60 Hz only. This includes models in sizes of 27 inch, 34 inch and 40 inch. The 34 inch ultra wide and 40 inch ultra wide are of particular interest and are coming to market soon as the panel mass production started at the end of 2023. The 34 inch ultra wide panel has a 3440 by 1440 resolution, 2000 to one contrast ratio and 120 Hz refresh rate. That's being used in the forthcoming Dell UltraSharp U3425WE. That should be launched at the end of February 2024. The 40-inch ultra-wide panel has an impressive 5120 by 2160 resolution, 2000 to 1 contrast ratio and 120Hz refresh rate again. That panel is being used in the forthcoming Dell UltraSharp U4025QW that should also be launched at the end of February. We've not seen any other monitors announced from other brands using these new 120Hz IPS black panels that are already in mass production yet. It seems to be Dell so far. It looks like LG Display will expand IPS black further into their gaming segment later this year as well, with an even higher refresh rate planned. It looks like this will be an update their typical IPS gaming panels, now with an increased 2000 to 1 contrast ratio instead of the current 1000 to 1 contrast ratio today. At the moment, there is a 27 inch panel with a 2560 by 1440 resolution and 360 Hertz refresh rate planned for Q4 2024 mass production, which could be a very interesting option. No news on any monitors using that forthcoming panel at this stage, but we wouldn't expect those to be available until probably Q1 2025 based on that current panel mass production schedule. As a teaser of things to come much later on, LG Display do tantalizingly list IPS Black version 2.0 for Q4 2025 development in their 31.5 inch segment, but they don't provide any further information at the moment as to what that will include or the changes that will be made. Perhaps these will be the increased 3000 to 1 contrast ratio panels we talked about earlier, but more information on that, of course, when we get it. Away from their IPS Black technology, we've already seen some dual mode WOLED panels announced by LG Display. For instance, the 31.5 inch 4K 240Hz panel that is going to be adopted in a few forthcoming OLED monitors later this year, like the ASUS ROG Swift PG32 UCDP and LG Electronics' 32GS95UE, for example. That OLED panel allows you to use the screen at its native 4K resolution and 240Hz refresh rate, or you can drop down to 1080p at 480Hz if you'd rather for certain games where you might want to prioritise frame rate and speed over resolution and detail. That OLED panel is expected to go into mass production around May, June 2024 at the moment. Loads more information on their OLED panels in our other video linked in the description below. LG Display are also planning to bring this feature, this dual mode feature, to some of their future IPS technology panels, including options that can handle 4K 144Hz, or drop down to 1080p at 288Hz, or also 4K 240Hz dropping down to 1080p at 480Hz. 
That second option would mirror what they're doing with their OLED panels, but this time in the IPS panel segment instead. They have a 27-inch 4K 144Hz panel planned for Q3 2024 mass production, followed by a 27-inch 4K 240Hz version in Q4 2024, which will both feature that dual-mode frame rate feature. No other details are provided at this time on specs, and we've not seen any monitors announced yet that would feature these new IPS panels. So there you go, there's loads of interesting panel development news and hopefully some new panels to look forward to that might meet your needs in the future. Let us know in the comments section below which panels you're most interested in, and if you've enjoyed this video please do give us a quick like below as well. We've also got loads more monitor and panel news coming up, so make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you for watching, we'll catch you next time.